This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Crosshairs with uh, Sergeant Kane. The figure and well, the figure set is part of the fourth wave of the basic Human Alliance, a Mech Tech Human Alliance uh, sub subline from the Transformers Dark of the Moon toy line. Obviously, they're repaints. Um, Crosshairs is a repaint of the Thunderhead mold from Wave 1, which I don't have. Uh, and this guy is a repaint of, I don't know if it's a repaint of the Thunderhead figure or kind of looks like the Ice guy, which I also don't have, um, Sergeant Chaos. I, I'm not sure. Somebody tell me what this one is a repaint of which mold. And uh, I... I told myself I would not get this particular figure mold until it went on clearance because a lot of people had have given uh, have been giving bad reviews on the Thunderhead figure and I figured and I, I told myself you know get it on clearance when it's 50% off uh, this particular repaint wasn't really part of my list I only intended to get reverb but when I saw him I got sucked into actually liking the color combinations of this figure. I sort of fell in love with the. No, I didn't fall in love. I just, I, I felt it was pretty cool that this guy was less uh, flamboyantly colored compared to Thunderhead. He had eh, lime green here and there, but there was army green, chartreuse, lots of silver, some um, gr greenish gray, oliveish, olive olivish gray something like that but it looked more like a military uh, figure than the, uh, Thunderhead did with his black and, and and orange I thought that was a little bit too loud and I, I liked I, even though I liked that the, the, the mold didn't really strike me as, as something that was good enough to purchase based on a lot of reviews and based on how I saw the figure but when I saw this one yeah, I figured ah, what the heck I'm getting reverb anyway couldn't hurt right well, again, this, just like Reverb, uh, it, it, this for me is a mixed bag. Uh, it, there are some bright moments about him there, but there are a lot of uh, really awk really strange, to say the least, about uh, moments with this guy. It's, it's such, it, 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 uh, it sort of makes you think that how the Hasbro engineers really designed this figure, and when you look at Reverb, how he was so asymmetrical in his alt modes, and they were probably going for a Cybertronian look, I think they were sort of going for that look with, with this particular mold. And, uh, and let me show you briefly. Here is the packaging. As you can see, the, the alt mode is, is very... It's something you would see on Star Wars. Like something you would see, uh, like a vehicle for Star Wars. Very Cybertronian looking. And this one, it's a mech suit. He's, his third mode is really a mech suit. It's not, it doesn't transform into a weapon for any of the Voyager class or Leader class figures. He, a mech suit, which I, something that would probably be, I don't know, something that you would probably see on Aliens or um, Pred, uh, uh, The Matrix or something like that. But a very non-earthy, well, this could work as a, uh, a mech suit for lifting things but really it's a military application that's something we're not used to seeing at this point in time in our in military hardware so I'm thinking it's sort of Cybertronian inspired but anyway uh, on to the figure itself so this one is just a basic human alliance figure much smaller than the regular human alliance figure um, the figure as you can see Pretty cool. Here's the size comparison. He's a little bit bigger uh, to Dune Runner. Uh, articulation. He's got a swivel swivel neck. No waist articulation. Ball jointed shoulders. Double hinge elbows, which is really negligible because of the size of the forearm. And he can't really, because also of this bar, he can't really use that double hinge to its full potential. He's got a uh, hinge wrist which unfortunate, unfortunately has left his hands facing palms up like that, like, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me, huh? I don't want to get you. It's like, Arr. he's always in charging up mode, like, Arr. he's like, he's constipated all the time.
Anyway, ball jointed uh, hips, uh, a uh, thigh swivel and a hinge, some, sort of like an effective ball hinge, and some ankle uh, feet articulation. Official transformation is really like this. He's supposed to be on heels, on high heels. Uh, that's what the instructions say. If, uh, see, see right here. Instructions are a mess. Again, just like most of the, the Dark of the Moon um, instructions, but they do help you a lot. So, it says start off that way, and you fold it up. But the picture, the photographer probably felt that was so un crosshairs like or whatever <laughs> I was gonna say unmasculine like anyway but uh, he they, the, they photographed him with the flat feet so I don't know it's really up to you there's more stability there's more stability and when he's flat but there's more posing ability pose ability with this one mm, yeah anyway uh, and he makes him taller this one makes him a little bit shorter the major major flaw of this figure excuse my Miss Universe faux pas uh, yeah, it is September and it is Miss Universe uh, it is Miss Universe season so the major major uh, flaw in this mold is really the they could have added instead of um, instead of another joint they on here instead of another hinge joint there because they already have a hinge joint hinge joint here I don't really see the point in other, adding another one because this thing is functional as it is even in alt mode they could have added a swivel joint right there if they added a swivel joint right there they, you would be able to turn him and you would have his his hands um, facing the right way but instead you always have him with the palms up like that because of the lack of the uh, hinge joint there which again we'll, we'll see more uh we will see how badly that hinge joint could have uh, could have uh, how badly this figure needed that hinge joint in, in another alt mode in his uh, mech suit mode, which i'll show you later so anyway too much ranting about a particular figure that uh you're probably thinking does he like the figure or does he hate it again as i said i, I like some bits of it uh, I hate uh, some uh, some parts of it. So overall, the figure itself, because of the lack of that, I give this figure. He looks gorilla-ish. He looks very bulky. Uh, could have been Bulkhead's cousin in some universe or another. I give it a seven out of ten. That's pretty high, I know, but I mean, it's still okay. But seven out of ten for me. You know, considering the fact that I, I like most of the figures, I give 9 or 10 scores. 7 is pretty low um, in my standards. But anyway, he has these guns, which you can swing out to form hip blasters if you want to. But we don't really need that now. Okay, transform him into his alt mode. Uh, first thing you want to do, go ahead and pop this up. Put the head up like that. Put the gun back to its slot. Go ahead and rotate, fold up the seat. Go ahead and rotate the, excuse me, the turret. Come on now. And then the arms, they just really go wherever you want them to go. Um, okay, that never happened. Excuse me. Okay. The legs and arms, they just, it's really up to you how you want to pose it. Um, the instructions do have specific ways of, uh, has a specific way of transforming it. But to me, you can fold it up in front like that or at the side, but I think it defeats the purpose of having another hinge if you don't fold him in front like that. So anyway, let's put the armor plating like that. And it's really up to you whether you want him high or you want the legs to stu to, to slouch low. Um, uh, you can put it at a medium height like that, which is also cool. Anyway, there's a seat right here for the figure, Sergeant Kane. Kane, whatever. You can peg in the back like that. And uh, obviously, you can't reach the handlebars. You can swing the handlebars back so you can sort of reach it, but it'll reveal the head. So this is his, uh, what does the figures, mobile mobile weapon mode. So mobile, mobile weapon, whatever, mobile weapon mode. 
Um, I don't know if these are treads, Cybertronian treads that actually allow him to move, just like a uh, Cybertronian Ratchet or Ironhide or um, Long Arm in, in the animated. Uh, or they're just really legs, spider like legs that used to walk, that are used to have this transport walk in like a insect way. So either way, this was interesting for me. I, I saw pictures of this on the internet. Maybe I thought, hey, it's different. It's like something from Star Wars. I could like this figure. Um, but then again, you know, it wasn't that great after a while but it's pretty good um compared to the robot mode i incl i'm inclined to display this figure this way it, it look again i'm a big star wars fan and if this if hasbro is trying to make an homage to to a clone wars vehicle or something like that which i, I have no idea then by all means you know this is a wonderful tribute to that and i thought this was pretty cool i give this mode a nine out of ten um yeah so there they could have added a lot more they could have made you know a more stable legs maybe a better turret but it's good enough for me nine out of ten all right so pretty cool probably this game this way and lastly so that we can extend this video much further since we have four minutes to go before we reach a 15 minute mark I know a lot of you have been some of you have been complaining that I should have just reviewed it 10 minutes I like making videos run long anyway make it in depth um, transform him into mech suit mode as you can see mech suit mode so something from the matrix or aliens uh, Come on now. Okay, peg that in. Go ahead and oh no, you don't peg that in, idiot. Um, just turn it like that. Detach the lower torso like that. Now this is. I'll show you first the official transformation of how the, the instructions tell you to do so, and then I'll give you my version of how I thought maybe it would look better transform so anyway form the legs form feet and legs form arms and torso and I'll form the sorry anyway ah, come on this thing should snap into place like over here like that yeah okay all right and then this thing stays here, this thing stays here, and then the arms. And here you see, it says to, to bring out the fists, like it will be of any use. They're inverted. Uh, a swivel, again, would have been nice. So we could have at least have, even if they're still inverted, we could have had him had it in the proper position. But it's like reverse fisted facing down, and it's really not that great looking. So no hit, no swivel, and... Uh, it looks weird. It looks, yeah, something you would see in Macross, uh, Robotech, whatever. But the, the arms are just not facing properly. And this, that's really how you do it, as you can see in the pictures. And even as the instructions tell you, that's just really how it is. That's the flaw of the mold. Now, the instructions just tell you to peg this guy, Kane, in like that, as though he's hanging. Uh, from something and then he's just holding it like that like a mech suit. I I think in real life he would just fall off Really because there's no harness no nothing uh, But anyway, that's what the instructions say. So that's the mech suit mode. Uh, I think um, My transformation for the mech suit mode should be that you should have Kane Kane whatever uh, have him seated like that, which makes more sense. So he could support to that the thing that's like a seat supporting him. Um, I think uh, the knee pads would look better if you if they they were turned this way, like that. And I think these arms um, or hands, uh, I think maybe they should. 
I don't know. They, I had it. Oh, okay, I had it like this. They should be folded in closer like that, so they, they make more sense. They don't really function as arms anyway, so just to give him more bulk. Uh, and then uh, just fold up the knees a little bit higher like that. So he's really like in some sort of armored mode. Kind of looks like Robocop's nemesis, Ed 209. Kinda, kinda, but not really. Um, but but yeah, um, this could still work. And to me, this is my unofficial mode of transforming this particular figure uh, into his mech suit mode, which I think is a lot cooler than just having the arms flailing out because they're really useless anyway. So let's have him face forward like that. And that, to me, could be like a good battle station, battle outpost, like a gunner's outpost. Uh, yeah, it could be a legitimate gunner's outpost rather than that industrial stand fan that reverb transforms into so anyway yeah this is my take on it and maybe it works for you maybe it doesn't but that's me so that's that ah 16 minutes uh world record call guinness anyway um so th there you go um I, I hope you've sort of found this video interesting in some way i hope i do apologize if i bored a heck of a lot of you with all my rantings and ramblings about this figure but i just wanted to be so thorough about it should you buy it on clearance yes on retail think about it if you're buying something else pass on this one if you absolutely love the mold, you, you think you cannot live without this particular figure, by all means, get it. But do not pay more than retail price for it. Am I happy I got it? Yeah, sure. Uh, mixed feelings about it. Overall, uh, wait, this mech suit figure that I've done him into, I give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, the original version is still a 7 out of 10. Uh, am I happy with it? Generally, more than 50% happy with it. I kind of like it. There you go, folks. Transformers, Dark of the Moon, the Mech Tech Basic Human Alliance, Crosshairs with Sergeant Kane. Uh, thanks for watching.